Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tom Shu here and today we're going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be dealing with a common problem you'll find when you work in open shade or any type of convention area, any kind of candid shot you're going to make without flash. You know, sometimes you just can't use it. However, you can't present client images that look like this. Okay. In this picture you're going to see Elizabeth Watts over here on the left and Jane DeNoble on the right. Uh, they're pretty famous TV spokespeople, especially Jane. She's been in lots of movies like Stefford Wives, and well, she's been in a lot of stuff. Anyways, you can see that the overhead light is causing her bang for a shadow on her forehead, which isn't so bad. However, the dark sockets, especially in Elizabeth's eyes, they're really rough, you know, and, and you just can't offer images like that and call yourself a professional. So you have to retouch them, you got to do it fast. So this is how you fix those dark sockets. We're going to grab our lasso tool, okay? And we're just going to make a selection, okay, with that lasso tool. Just make a circle around her eye, okay? We're going to hold down the shift key and we're going to make another circle around her eye, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit here. Now, with that selection made, what you want to do is you want to feather the edge of it so it's not just a solid circle so we're going to go selection modify feather now the shortcut is shift f6 or you can map on yourself okay now depending on the size of the file and the size of the selection you can adjust your radius you have to experiment so around 10 or 12 on this one is good okay now we're going to duplicate this information from that selection everything inside that circle on a new layer to do that we're going to hit control j and that's command j on a mac okay now you can see that it's got the selection, but it's not a solid line. You see how it's kind of feathered, right? That's what that feathering does. <laughs> so let's turn back on this information. Now let's make those dark sockets go away. We're going to change the blend mode of this top layer here. We're going to change it to screen. Now I know it's a bit much, and that's okay. We'll control the amount of the effect with the opacity slider so I'll just crank it up for now and I find that when you zoom in on things it might look good zoomed in but when you zoom back out it might look like an alien see how that kind of looks like a white ring around her eye so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down the alt key that's the option key on the Mac with that layer selected and we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click on this layer mask icon that's gonna hide everything on that effect we're gonna grab the paintbrush tool now we're gonna feather this paintbrush Okay, the same way we feathered the selection. So to do that, you can hold down the Alt key, and that's the Option key on a Mac, and you right-click your mouse, and you drag left or right. That's the size, and up and down is the hardness. So we want 100% or zero hardness, and we'll just make our brush that size. Clicking on the layer mask, painting in white. If your if your paint chips are wrong, hit the X key. That'll put them to the default or actually the D key puts them to default and then you can flip them with the X key okay so now since we're painting with white now on that black layer mask it's gonna reveal that area so we're just painting in there to get rid of that dark socket a little bit on that eye and I think that's a little bit too much on this eye okay so what I can do is I can just come in with the edge of this brush a big brush and just kind of peek into it so we're gonna hit the X key again and I'll just come in here with this okay and then I hit the X key again and I'll just wipe it off around the eye because I don't want that raccoon look okay so now there is the before and there's the after that's how easy this effect is let's go ahead and fix up Jane real quick so we're gonna go down to our layer below we're gonna grab our lasso tool and we're gonna make a selection we're gonna paint in this forehead here Okay, and we're going to paint this eye. Okay, I'm going to hold down the shift key. You notice I get that plus sign right there. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get this area of her face. Okay, we're going to duplicate that as well, but we're going to feather it first. So select, modify, feather. 10 pixels is great. Okay, control J, command J on a Mac, puts all that information on its own layer. Okay. So turn that back on. We're going to hold down the Alt key. We're going to hide all that stuff. Actually, we need to change the blend mode. 
to screen okay now we're going to hide all that stuff by hitting this uh, layer mask icon but, but what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the alt key that's the option key on the Mac click on the layer mask which hides everything hit the B key or come over here and grab your brush tool we're going to be painting with white okay with a nice soft brush and we just come in here and paint this out of our picture here okay now we'll grab the opacity slider and we'll slide it back and we just bring it up until it fixes our image the way we want okay it looks like it's a little bit too much around the bottom of the eye so I can fix that so we'll click on the layer mask grab our brush tool and this time we're gonna be painting with black so we're gonna hit the X key and we just come in here and hide it okay come across the edge there and just hide it so there's the before and there's the after it's that easy guys I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today and until next time, we'll see you soon.